Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and today we will discuss about how to create a dashboard then finally we will see how to create the alerts in Power BI service right? this is a continuation video continuation video of the Power BI service series so let's take I have a report on this there are some basic things are there so if you go over of any report right there will be an option called the pin visuals okay? everywhere you will get it pin so that means you need to pin so when you click on the pin that will create a dashboard to you so let's create click on this graph and just pin it okay and it will create a dashboard so i say hr dashboard the name is pin okay now if you go to your workspace there is a separate dashboard will be created one is report one is dashboard now click on that it will be like this okay just like this one now what what i need to do here in this case is that let me go to this particular report click on the edit i'm just editing blindly okay so now i go to the format here click on the columns and instead of the blue color let's choose this color i just changing the some color on the online itself let's save this report now if i go to my hr and go to the report the changes is reflected but when i go to the dashboard it remains the way it was before because there is there is no changes to the dashboard because and unless until you pinned one more time that changes will not come okay but another way you can do it in this the same thing is that instead of doing this i want to pin the complete page itself that's called the live dashboard somebody asked in the interview also what is called the live dashboard this is the live dashboard i'll show you now so click on this and pin to a dash pin a pin to a dashboard in a sense complete report page whatever the visualization have filtered everything it will go to the dashboard so pin live this is called your live dashboard okay now if you go to your dashboard now there will be two things first is this one we already pinned and the other one will be this one the complete page itself it is coming there okay make sense here you can do the filtering also everything now what i need to do here in this case is this is a live one so whenever any changes happen to this report let's edit now and let's take here i want to change some column value again to let's take to this color right i did it save this file right and suppose i want to go to the workspace hr click on the hr dashboard you see go down it's also getting changed right because this is a live kind of thing whenever any changes to the particular report it will be like this this is first thing this is called the live dashboard second second is that suppose you want to have some kind of not this report sorry go to the hr report and click on the your hr or the human resource your report here somehow we want to create one alerts kind of things let's take here in this case you want to create an alert of the turnover rate so which if it is crossing 50 percent then you want to have alerts it will give your team member indication that you want to create an alert so for that in report there is no option to create the alerts alerts only can be done in dashboard and that to be for the three visualization card gauge kpi these are the three visuals where you can create your alerts so let's pin this visual now first of all i pinned it separately now i will go to my dashboard go down it will be somewhere here now here we will see if we click on the three dots there will option come manage alerts this option will be not available other except gauge card and kpi if any other visualization is there they will not get the information about the alerts now click on the manage alerts here and you can create an alert here add alert rule on turnover rate is above let's take uh, 52 percent 
somewhere I can say 52 percent on how you want to give your data like at, at most every 24 hours or for one hour so let's say 24 hours send email to okay then save and close so what will happen one rule got set or the alerts got set that will be available now question here is where you can see this alerts we created so what we need to do is that go to your workspace and click on this settings here all the information will be available if you click on the alerts there is one alert just now we created we can off also from here and we can edit also from here you can delete from here as well so, so but suppose you want to edit it if you just click on that automatically this will come up and it will you can change it up wherever you want okay so how you go settings then you can see the alerts here okay fine okay this is that's it for today and we will start working on different concept of the power bi service as well thanks for watching have a nice day please 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 do subscribe for this all this content which i'm planning to put it i think you will be get more get get more benefit out of this hopefully and please comment it out if you want to uh, see any or you want to have any video for any specific content which about tax power query or power b service anything this specific please put in the comments thank you and have a nice day